Yo, what's going on everybody? It's High Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I'm here to talk to you guys about NBA Live 13. I know that I haven't been dropping that many info videos about NBA Live 13, but to tell you the truth, there's not really much that to tell. Um, let me give you guys a little bit of background on what's going on. Now, we all know that everybody went to E3 or heard about E3 and how devastating Live themselves, EA Sports, and what they did to all the hardcore community fans. They basically slapped them in the face, no glove. Basically, like they did so much to just discourage every EA Sports NBA Live franchise series fan. It's that serious. Now, you know me. You know where I get my info. I get my info from Operation Sports. That's where I'm always at. I'm on there daily. I'm either updating my statuses on there. I'm going back and forth with people in the forums. I'm looking up info. And I came to find a few things from Operation Sports that kind of dawned on me as disrespect. Well, not necessarily disrespect, but for basketball fans that love a game, they just slap this in the face again. So let me tell you this. I'm not. I'm, now, this comm is going to be totally unbiased of course you guys know i'm an nba 2k fanatic but i'm here to talk to you guys about nba live so here it goes now first thing nba live and ea sports basically came out with their earnings for the upcoming release list which means all the games that they will be supporting for council handheld pc for the rest of the year for throughout the summer throughout the fall and throughout the win winter um, they got the Secret World, FIFA 13, Madden NFL 13, NCAA Football 13, NHL 13, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Medal of Honor Warfighter, FIFA Manager 13, Dead Space 3, Crisis 3, and Sim City. Now, all of these games are supposed to be new releases, and they put themselves in the revenue list for this year, for the second quarter and third quarter of the year. So that's basically saying that these are the games that they expect to come out. Now, does this necessarily mean that NBA Live 13 has been canceled because to tell you the truth they have done this time and time again for the last few years making a big fuss about a game you know but also promoting their other games but getting a little bit of the basketball community rounded up into all of that and then canceling their games or not even saying that they're going to publish the game so with that being said does this mean that NBA Live 13 has been canceled Leave your comments in the um section. What I'm gonna do is I got I got another part of this video. We're about to start it up right now. Now the second thing is, um, I don't know if you guys heard of uh, Pasta Padre or um, Kotaku. I don't I don't know how to pronounce it, but these are also um, some articles and stuff that I get a lot of my info on. Um, what they said was um, a listing on the monthly Xbox Live rewards roundups. Hence that NBA Live 13 will see a digital release when it arrives supposedly in October. Now we all know that the game is supposed to come up before the NBA starts. Also, when I mean digital release, I mean no disc, no pamphlet, all DLC. That's basically what it is. It's a downloadable content that they think may be coming out. And let me give you a little bit more background on it. It says, they first noticed it on Pasta Padre among a dozen different titles eligible for that rewards um and they said that nba live 13 digital dlc is el eligible content itself it says nba live 13 was not mentioned in electronic arts quarterly earnings call which i just talked about on monday um it raised speculation and some people were thinking hey is the title dead are they going to cancel it what's going on and also NBA Live backed out of a um, EA Sports event that was supposed to happen today. They actually backed out and said that they will have something later on, which means they still are not ready to unveil what's going on with NBA Live 13. Now, let me give you a little bit more. Um, an EA spokesperson um, told um, Kotaku that they're working to continue on the title, which will be showcased in a hands-on experience. That means people will be playing the game somewhere before the end of September. Are you serious? So you're saying a week before the game is com gonna come out, you're you guys expect to let people play with the sticks and then come out with a game a week later and then expect a whole bunch of people to buy it? Are you serious? Nobody may not even hear that type of info within that one week. Come on, man. Now also, um, later the representative said, 
at this stage, yes, the game is due to release before the NBA season tips off October 30th. So you saying if you drop the game October 29th, 29th, we Gucci? Is that what you saying right now? If you drop the game October 29th, we Gucci. Come on, let's keep it a bean, y'all. Let's keep this a bean. NBA Live is bullshitting us, y'all. They is literally bullshitting us. All right, let me, let me give you guys a little bit more info. Um, basically, NBA Live has been totally silent since the less than encouraging reveal at E3 disappointed hardcore community members, which I say in the beginning. There has been no announcement of yet a cover star, even though 2K came out with three. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> which would seem unnecessary if it would be only a digital release, which means, you know, hence the DLC. Now, um, it could be both a physical and digital release, they're saying. However, EA Sports did not go to the trouble of naming a cover star for his digital-only reboot of NFL Blitz back in January, which is a DLC. So, there's two things that they might say is going on with NBA 2K13 before I get out of here. NBA 2K13 may be canceled, or it may be a DLC, or it may be a physical release later, but DLC early. That makes no sense, right? <laughs> but this is IKC signing out. I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me through this little bit of info. Also, on the flip side, what up all my 2K fans? What it be like? <laughs> I'm out of here, man. I'm done trolling. Peace.